the new tilt rotor aircraft being developed for the U.S. Army under the FLRA, Future Long Range Assault Aircraft Program, will carry the designation MV 75. These aircraft will gradually replace UH 60 Black Hawk helicopters in frontline and high risk Army units. The MV designation is unusual for the Army, as standard transport helicopters such as the UH 60 Black Hawk typically bear designations such as U Utility or C Cargo. Nevertheless, the Army selected the term MV for FLRAA to convey the aircraft's intended versatility and capabilities, which are comparable to those of the Marine Corps' MV-22 Osprey. The letter M, multi-mission, denotes a multi-purpose aircraft that is designed to perform specialized missions, such as special operations, in addition to transporting cargo or personnel. The V, vertical takeoff and landing, indicates the aircraft's ability to take off and land vertically. The MV-75 will be readily adaptable to other deployment types, including medical evacuation. The prefix H is typically used on aircraft that are designed for rescue and search operations, helicopter, rescue. The 101st Airborne Division will be the first recipient of the MV-75. The division has initiated the process of preparing for the adoption of the new aircraft, which, according to the command, will substantially alter its deployment strategies. The Army intends to replace a significant number of Black Hawk helicopters, including some MH-60M aircraft used by the elite 160th SOAR, Special Operations Aviation Regiment, with the new MV-75, which is based on Bell's V-280 Valor. This renowned regiment is dedicated to the transport, deployment, retrieval, resupply, and support of special forces in high-risk, low-altitude, nocturnal environments. The developmental design of the MV-75 is anticipated to be finalized by the end of this year. The Army has previously declared that the final production version of the FLRA will exhibit substantial differences from the V-280 demonstrator, which has been flying since 2017. The final design will incorporate features that facilitate converting the main model into variants for special operations. In contrast to previous projections, these modifications have led to an increase in the maximum takeoff weight. The objective is to reduce the cost and facilitate the process of converting the MV-75 for the 160th SOAR. At present, the process of converting standard Black Hawks into MH-60Ms is exceedingly intricate and demanding. The MH-60M is a highly modified aircraft that exhibits distinctive flight profiles, sensors, durability, avionics, and performance. It has a stronger engine, a changed transmission, a better autopilot, navigation for low flights, the CHES, common avionics architecture system used in the MH-47G, a radar in the nose, cameras for seeing in different conditions, a system for finding and marking targets, jammers, flare dispensers, warning receivers, machine guns on the sides, a probe for refueling in the air, a stronger structure, and changes to make it less visible to radar and heat. All of this equipment is also being considered in the design of the MV-75. The FLRAA is expected to revolutionize air mobile operations due to its substantially increased speed and range in comparison to the Black Hawk. The UH-60M is anticipated to have a combat range of over 500 kilometers without refueling, with a cruising speed of at least 460 kilometers per hour, which is approximately 70% quicker. The Army's initial objective was to introduce the base MV-75 model into service in 2030. However, two weeks ago, they announced a new target, 2029. Simultaneously, it denied the possibility that the program could be terminated as part of a more comprehensive assessment of the priorities of the United States Armed Forces. It is anticipated that certain other programs, including the M-10 Booker, will be reduced or discontinued. The plan is ambitious, as the first prototypes are still in the design and modeling phases, and the critical design review is now anticipated to occur in 2026, which is approximately nine months behind schedule. The final technical review of a complex system's design is the critical design review, which signals the point at which the project can advance to prototype manufacturing. The first prototypes are now anticipated to be delivered in 2027, which is one year later than the original plan 
and two years behind the original post-contract award schedule. Flight testing of the prototypes will subsequently commence. Additionally, the Army is modifying its traditional acquisition process. The decision to start low-rate production of operational aircraft will be made before the official milestone C, which typically signifies the transition from prototype testing to low-rate production. The Army is committed to fielding the helicopter as soon as feasible, according to General James Mingus, Deputy Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army. He also did not rule out the possibility of the first unit flying with prototypes. Mingus stated that, theoretically, they could transition to serial production at a quicker pace than is customary if no significant issues arise during the design review and flight testing. Nevertheless, he emphasized that the Army is committed to avoiding the pitfalls that afflicted the F-35 fighter development. In that case, the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps' varying requirements necessitated substantial design modifications prior to production. We don't want to end up with prototypes that have major shortcomings needing rework just before production. That's why we're expecting many decision points, he added. If the Army meets its objectives, it could field the first operational MV-75s before the end of the decade. Now, do you think this helicopter will do any better Tan Osprey? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, we invite you to join our membership and support us.